All right, class, so we're still in section 1.4, which deals with extrema and average rates of change. And what I want to look at is how to find the average rate of change. So the average rate of change between any two points on the graph of f is the slope of the line through these two points. So what's happening is with these two points that were given, we're finding the slope of that line. So if you guys remember, um, the slope is the rise over the run of that graph. So what happens is I take the difference of the y values and divide it by the difference of the x values. So let's look at one. So I want to look and I want to find the average rate of change of each function on the given interval and the interval is between 2 and 3. So what I want to do is I want to plug 2 in place of x so I plug 2 in and when I plug 2 in to the equation I get negative 4. So that gives me an order pair of 2, negative 4. So what I want to do then is plug 3 in. So I'm going to find what the f of 3 is. So I do 3 cubed minus 2 times 3 squared minus 3 times 3 plus Two. And when I check to see what f of 3 equals, is it equals positive 2. So I have the order pair 3, 2. So what I want to do is I want to find the slope between 2, negative 4 and 3, 2. So I'm going to take, remember, the difference of the y's over the difference of the x's. So I'm doing 2 minus negative 4 divided by 3 minus 2. So when I look at these values, I get 1 on the bottom and I get positive 6 on top. So my average rate of change of change between the two x values of 2 and 3 is 6. So what that means, as I go from 2 to 3, my graph is going up 6 units. That's my average rate of change. So what I want you guys to do is find the average rate of change of f of x equals x to the fourth minus 6x squared plus 4x between the x values of negative 5 and negative 3. And we will go over those in class tomorrow. Talk to you later.